Hey guys, Matt DeCrenna here from beyondgrappling.com and the University of Geo.com. Today I thought I'd do a quick video on uh, the bow and arrow choke and the new rule with the knee bars. So this, this is just a photo that popped up on my um, Facebook page today so I thought I'd talk about it. Um, and I've also received a few emails about it, but pretty much <clears throat> what was happening in the past is that I'm doing a bow and arrow choke in a jiu-jitsu comp here, but um, you notice I've got my hand behind the knee and obviously I'm choking over here. The new judo rules, because some people, what they were doing, rather than grabbing behind the knee, they were grabbing up behind the ankle and yanking the ankle straight, in which case putting pressure on the knee, <clears throat> in which case it's a penalty. The referee will say mate and stand you up. <clears throat> I'm sorry about that. So um, when you do bow and arrow chokes now, a curia or jimmies, um, you have to hold behind the knee. If your hand starts sliding up, once it gets to, say, the calf area or higher, the referee will probably say mate in case you're going to pressure the knee. That's just the new rules around bow and arrow chokes. So really important, keep your hand cupping under the knee and you'll be safe. The referee won't say mate. If this hand starts creeping up towards the ankle, you will get, uh, the referee will say mate and you will miss the position. So that's just the new judo rules around the knee bar with the bow and arrow choke. Hope that helped you out. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below and um, I'll get back to you when I can. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.